Today, the remains of a World War II veteran were finally laid to rest in his hometown of Hanford. Private First Class Royal Lawrence Walsh was killed in battle back in 1943. His remains were missing until 2013. CBS 47's Liv Johnson joins us live in the studio, and she attended the emotional ceremony. Liv. Right. Closure is the word family members of Royal Waltz kept repeating today as they finally got to honor him at his final resting place nearly 77 years after he died in, died in the Battle of Tarawa. Over a thousand soldiers died in that battle and more than 2100 were wounded. A bittersweet day of just closure for our family. Cindy Garcia never got the chance to meet her great uncle, Royal Lawrence Waltz, a native of Hanford who enlisted in the Marines in 1941. However, she says his legacy was always alive within her family. I used to ride my bike around the cemetery and we would always stop by uh, grandma's grave and we always knew that Royal's plaque was right in front. That plaque stood for decades, but Royal's remains were missing. They weren't found until 2013 and weren't identified as his until 2019, 76 years after he died for his country. There was always missing in action, so we assumed he probably got washed out to see her. On Monday, a service was held for Royal at First United Methodist Church in Hanford, followed by a burial at Grangeville Cemetery. His family members finally able to lay him to rest. Um, sad that his parents and uh, siblings couldn't be here to witness this, um, but it's quite an honor to be here in their place and to do the honor for them. You can find more on Royal Waltz and his story on yourcentralvalley.com. Live in studio, I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.